ഹലോ ഗായത്രി പ്രകാശൻ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ പേജ് എല്ലാവർക്കും എന്റെ പേജിലോട്ട് സ്വാഗതം സോ ടുഡേ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് വിത്ത് യു ഓൾ അബൌട്ട് ലെവൻത് ഓഫ് ജൂൺ ഒ ഇ ടു എക്സാം ഇൻ വിച്ച് റൈറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് സ്പീക്കിംഗ് ഓക്കെ so let's move on to the topic so what kind of the letter they have asked and uh, how about the case note and what are the speaking topic okay so name of the patient is uh, ardu taylor and he is 75 years old and we are writing this letter to a, a nursing home manager and the patient is going for the permanent full term nursing care and regarding the social background of the patient patient is a widower and he is lives alone and also he is a, he is a chronic smoker he has been smoking since his teenage and uh, he smokes 25 cigarettes in a day and he is trying to cut down the cigarettes uh, he smokes in a day like five cigarettes he is he is just reducing in a day and also he is a, a COPD patient and he is on inhalers for that and he is a hypertensive patient also he is taking medications for the same okay and he is having poor uh, poor appetite and not taking meals on proper time and skipping the uh, food also and what is the present medical history why he got admitted in the hospital and what are the reasons so let me tell you actually he got admitted because of a fall at the time of admission he had a uh, confusion disorienta- disorientation and he had some mild bruishness and also fever sharpness of breath dysuria uh, these all are the complaints when when he was admitted to the hospital and because of the fall so thereby they have done an x ray in that x ray there is no uh, there is no history of a uh, fracture and they have done a urine analysis in which they came to know the patient is having urinary tract infection so they have started an antibiotic apart from that patient having a history of copd right so because of the copd patient is having sharpness of breath and also the patient was using the inhaler which was not so effective so they have added uh, bronchodilators to help the patient to breathe easy and they, they have started with an antibiotic so that antibiotic is five uh, five days for uh, two times in a day that has to be continued after they even transfer to the nursing home but but patient is like you know as patient is living alone nobody is there to care the patient patient is bit panicking to go to anxious about to uh, about nursing home facilities and uh, he was so bit uh, afraid that how i'm going to manage so that the thing was given in the letter and uh, and apart from that what all the recommendations that what all the discharge advice they have given once the patient uh, go to the nursing home what all the continuity of the care they have to follow for the patient the first one is they have to continue the antibiotic course for one week because the antibiotic course was started on 3rd of january and it has to be continued until 10th of january and then the patient needs chest physiotherapy especially breathing and coughing exercise and also patient needs smoking uh, cessation program because uh, as i said that patient is a chronic smoker and as the patient is not concentrating on his uh, meals intake poor uh, appetite uh, they have to provide a high fiber rich protein and energy diet and also they have to uh, provide education regarding lifestyle changes such as hydration regular meals intake exercise programs decuffing and uh, uh, and also regarding the um, smoking cessation and patient is having a gp review uh, having gp review in 2 weeks for the management of urinary tract infection and the copd so this is about the case notes so now how we are going to write the case note it's a matter right so it is a simple discharge letter we have three types of letter as usual discharge transfer and the patient is referral letter so here patient is getting discharge and transfer to the nursing home for the full term nursing care because patient is a widower here social history is very important the reason behind the placement of nursing home which means the patient is a widower though he has a son he is far distance from him and nobody is there to look after him poor appetite also he is having underlying condition so and so and also he is on medications for the same and uh, he leads a solitary life we can say which means nobody is there to look after him li- living alone so this is called it as a solitary life okay so this social history is very important 
to tell the patient background to the nursing uh, care, nursing home manager. So we are writing this letter to a nursing home manager and for the placement of the patient to provide a uh, continue like provide to provide a um, full term nursing care for the patient. So now we are going to write an introduction. As usual here, date we have to be uh, we, we have to see very importantly because so far whatever the letters they have asked in this year, they have given all the date of admission, date of discharge, the date everything has given only the January date. So we have to be very careful. Which patient got admitted? Patient got admitted. Date of admission was on. 2nd of January 2022 and the patient is getting discharged on 8th of January 2022 and patient is due for nursing home placement is on 13th of January but priorly 5 days prior to the uh, due date itself patient is going to the nursing home. So the today's date the date of writing letter is on 8th of January 2022 so that is the date of writing letter that we can write it on the top of the paper or else after the uh, address we can write it so first we are writing a date and second thing the address so to whom we are addressing this patient or this letter we are addressing the addressing to the nursing home manager and we are writing the remaining address and coming to the point of salutation as well as like dear sir or ma uh, as usual dear sir or madam or dear uh, nursing home manager like that also we can write it now reference in the reference this time i got the full name of my patient from my student full name of the patient from my students so they have said to me um ardo taylor so he, you can in the reference we can write mr ardo taylor comma age is 75 or 75 years old like that we can write it now coming to the point of introduction so here most of the students used to think either should I mention fall or should I mention urinary tract infection so which can I mention it but fall is the reason for the admission but what is the main diagnosis and what treatment we have given for that particular condition is urinary tract infection and COPD is the underlying chronic condition he has been suffering with COPD almost uh, to, since 2014 so since for 2014 he is suffering with the COPD so it is not necessary to give an important insane direction though it is necessary to give a treatment but here mainly what we have discovered uh, with uh, during the hospital stay of the patient which means it's a urinary tract infection so patient is on ongoing treatment for that so here we have to make a clear idea about to making an introduction rather than writing a fall better to write a urinary tract infection will be the beneficial of writing an introduction so how we can write as usual if you want to write so many members will write it in i'm writing to transfer or you can start with the name this letter is to introduce the purpose of this letter is to uh, write like that we can write it or refer like that whatever the way you want you can write it and uh, better to start with the name that will be the better option to write a letter introduction so how we can write Mr. Ardo Benshin because in the introduction better to mention the two name of the person that is very important. Mr. Ardo Benson. So we are just writing the purpose. So for what purpose we are sending the patient for full term nursing care, right? And then or else ongoing care and management, what continuity of the care and management, what care we have given that we are advising them to continue or else like we, even we are just telling them further care also because we are asking them to organize the programs and we are asking them to give an education regarding the lifestyle modifications. So it's an overall uh, lifestyle modification. So better we can write it like that way. And we can go with this Mr. Ardur Benson, comma, who requires an overall lifestyle modification advice and a full term nursing care, full stop. He was diagnosed with a urinary tract infection. That's it. Because we can't say he is recovering because he is already in antibiotics. Still, he need to go to the GP for the further review. So better to write he was diagnosed with a urinary tract infection. Full stop. So how we can make which letter means purple and the patient condition. Now coming to the point of present medical history. So how we can make a present medical history? Present medical history since the date of admission to until date of discharge. What are the advices that we have given to the patient? How the What are the treatment we have given to the patient? How the patient reacted to the treatment? that we are writing in a concise and clarity manner okay so mr uh, mr taylor so we heard here we have to write mr taylor because second name since the uh, second paragraph which means from the body paragraph onwards better to write it mr taylor mr taylor was admitted on 2nd of june 2nd of january 2022 uh, for uh, following a fall following a fall then full stop then we are coming with the point of that what all the uh, signs and symptoms on the time of admission, he was noticed with mild bruishness, confusion, disorientation, shortness of breath, uh, dysuria, fever and um, dysuria and nausea. 
So these are all the complaints on the time of admission. We, we were noted with him. And then he was, uh, he had an x-ray which revealed no fracture. So the fracture was ruled out. Ruled out which means eliminated, ex eliminated. And then uh, the, like we just writing the x-ray. So there is no, uh, there is no fracture. So after that, what we have done, then we can write it. He has undergone uh, urine analysis, which revealed urinary tract infection or else, which revealed the above mentioned condition, the, for, the aforementioned condition. So therefore, what we have done, therefore, he was commenced on antibiotics. So what antibiotic tryptomethrin, um, they have started with the tryptomethrin twice daily, 500 milligram twice daily for five days. So he was started with that. Apart from that, patient, uh, patient, uh, well, pay, uh, apart from that, what has happened, which means they patient was already on salbutamol inhaler and that was not working well for him. So they have uh, switched to bronchodilator, bronchodilator, it is um, serotid, bronchodilator, they have started for the effectiveness for the COPD. So we can write apart from that, he was switched to bronchodilator. Uh, in the bracket also you can write it to steroid, uh, serotid. He was switched to serotid bronchodilator due to the ineffectiveness of salbutamol. Like that we can write it. And also last at last things as he uh, as he well responded to the treatment, comma he is being discharged on 8th of June, January 2022. So these are the things happened in the hospital admission time. And now coming to the point of social background, what is very important thing is here we have to write Mr. Taylor is a widower and he leads a solitary life. He is a smoker. Uh, he, he has been smoking. He has been smoking uh, since uh, he since he since teenage and he smokes 25 cigarettes in a day. However, he is cut down the cigarette smoking. Uh, he is cut down the cigarette, uh, cut down five cigarettes in a day. Now five cigarettes, he is cut down the cigarettes intake. And then also regarding his past medical history, he is on, uh, he is on antihypertensive medications for his hypertension. And uh, he, is, he is on salbutamol inhaler for his COPD. So hypertension, he is being, uh, he's, he is suffering with, uh, he, he has had hypertension since 2016 and COPD 2014 onwards. And also they, he is having poor, uh, like what to say, he is having poor, uh, um, like he is, uh, he is having irregular meals intake. So the son is very concerned about his father's diet also. That was uh, during admission time that the son was uh, expressed his concern to the particular um, caretaker. So now, so these are all the things we are writing in the social background. Now coming to the point of our discharge advice. So what we can write it in the discharge advice is call it as a recommendation paragraph. So here we are coming to the point of in view of the above, we can start with in view of the above. So what else we are going to tell them, which means uh, please continue antibiotic course uh, until 10th of January. They have started on 3rd of, 3rd of January and that has to be completed on 10th of January that we are asking them to do it. Next one is kindly arrange for chest physio program in which he needs breathing and coughing exercise. And it would be greatly appreciated if you could organize smoking cessation program to quit for quit smoking. And then the thing, next thing is we can come in. Would you mind uh, please encourage him to consume high fiber protein and energy diet. And next thing is most importantly, uh, educate him about lifestyle modification, which include hydration, regular meals, exercise, decaffeine, because he is, I, I think he has to avoid, completely avoid the caffeine, um, caffeine. I think he is maybe consuming a more caffeine, I guess. And then we have to mention that please, please make sure that he has a GP review in two weeks for the management of urinary tract infection and a COPD. So that's it. Letter is over. So it's a very simple letter and easiest letter. And next thing is most importantly, uh, educate him about lifestyle modification, which include hydration, regular meals, exercise, decaffeine, because he is, I, I think he has to avoid, completely avoid the caffeine, um, caffeine, I think he is maybe consuming a more caffeine, I guess. And then we have to mention that please, please make sure that he has a GP review in two weeks for the management of urinary tract infection and a COPD. So that's it. Letter is over. So it's a very simple letter and easiest letter also. I hope you all have done in a very good way and hope for the best. And next thing is what are the speaking topics? So what is the speaking topic they have given, which means this time it is very simple speaking topic. And there are two post-operative speaking topics like it's a 
parodic gland uh, removal it's giving the education regarding the preoperative and postoperative management and also nappy rash like the mother is concerning about the baby's nappy rash so we are just giving the instructions that how the way we can prevent it what all are the things that we have to do it for the nappy rash and when another one is skin rashes pa patient is suffering with the skin rashes and how the way we can prevent that when what all the managements that we can do it so about the skin rashes and also another thing is like they have asked gallbladder removal so post operative and preoperative management of gallbladder removal so two pre uh, post operative preoperative preoperative management scheme as a speaking topic and apart from that they have received um, uh, like uh, it's an uh, and uh, urinary incontinency also so there we have to explain about the giggle exercise and uh, stress management and what is the importance of uh, reviewing with an urologist so these all are the things they have asked and then bp monitoring so bp monitoring is which is very new to us this time because these all are the topics you should pre-operative post-operative management nappy rash and uh, uh, regarding urinary incontinency also it's a kind of a it's, a, it's a old topics because they have asked also in the previous exams but bp monitoring is very new to the patient because a patient who got admitted and diagnosed with a postural hypotension and pa patient is asking after getting discharge and how the way i have to monitor my bp so we are here we are giving the instructions instructions how the way we have to tie the bp calf and how, how what position we have to sit while we are tying the bp calf and what is the how the way we have to keep the hand and how to inflate and how, how where to where to just where to play where, where to place the bp calf in a proper position so these are the instructions which means that we are explaining our demands we are explaining how to perform how to how to perform the um, bp checking so that that we are just explaining and also we are just giving an instructions regarding the postural hypotension in case if the patient develop um, uh, in case the patient will develop low blood, blood uh, low blood pressure what they have to do which means that head and part should be lower and the leg, leg and part should be upper because of the postural hypotension and also we have to tell the patients like uh, while you are uh, when you are getting up suddenly and when you are lying down during that time at all you feel some dizziness so you have to be very careful so these all are the instructions and we are explaining how to uh, perform bp monitor how to perform bp bp monitoring or how to check the bp blood pressure those this is the thing we are explaining which is very new to us this time in the speaking topic but otherwise it is a common topics that whatever topic we usually we we have already prepared and we they have asked in previous exams that all the topics only they have asked this time also except this bp monitoring i hope you all have done in a good way you are speaking also anyhow hope for the best research and whomever wants to join for our class our number has given in our description so you can